Alright, here I am in Fontana Village. This is the general store that has everything in it. This is basically the whole town, which you can see from here. And up the hill here, on the other side of the Stony Creek Pool and Lazy River, is the hotel where I stayed at last night in the restaurant that I ate in. So I, I got in, I don't know, 4.30 yesterday, had a meal. This is day seven, I think. And uh, then today I hung around in the room and did nothing. And it's around lunchtime now, and I came down to resupply and got all my stuff. I'm going to get something to eat and then go to the shelter that's like a mile away and stay there. There's some kind of car thing going on here. I'm hitting the trail after being in Fontana for a day. I'm just going to go like a mile up the road to the uh, <laughs> to the shelter up here and then start the Smokies tomorrow. But I want to do a real quick video on what food I'm taking to do the Smokies. Now I'm not real picky about food so my variety you're going to see isn't very good but here's my food selection for the Smokies. Same thing every day. For breakfast I do a pop tart um, when I start. I then stick a Fig Newton in a Snickers bar in my pack pocket and eat that on the trail in the morning. For lunch I'm going to have uh, two tortillas and either put Nutella or peanut butter on them and then beef jerky and another Snickers bar for the afternoon. For dinner it is noodles and Spam in a cup and mix them together and then for dessert right now it's chips away because they didn't have any famous Amos. That's basically the same thing that I eat every day. Um, for the next, that's what I'm going to be eating every day for the next five days. You know, a little bit different depending on where you're resupplying at and what you're getting. But that's just a quick and dirty on what I'm taking for the Smokies. Alright, day seven. Oh, as I already said in that other video when I was in town. So I'm hopping back on the trail now. Just got dropped off. This is a boat launch rental place for the Fontana. They run pontoon boats and kayaks and stuff like that. So, gonna walk the mile up to the shelter. Alright, I'm at the Fontana shelter, which is down the hill down there. It's called the Fontana Hilton because it has a flush toilets and a shower, which is right up over the hill, just like a public bathroom that has a shower in it. Um, but there's a billion million bumblebees out, especially down at the shelter. I think there must be like a hornet's nest or something in the shelter. So I'm actually up the hill here. Here's my tent right here. There's a bunch of tent, flat tent sites, which is really cool. Um, and then as you saw the Fontana Lakes right there. So it's pretty cool. It wasn't for the million of bumblebees there were. Alright, so it's still the seventh day, but I got tired of laying there and there's a couple people at that shelter that I didn't particularly care for, a little unsavory type, so I said, you know what, let's do something unusual and leave now. So it's four o'clock. There's a camping area in the Smokies about six miles away. So I should be able to make that in three hours. Seven o'clock I should be there. Um, so I'm going to go get started now. I'll throw off my planned schedule, but not always being on schedules. Part of what it's about, right? So I'm heading off. I'll take some video when I get to the dam. And... Here's the dam, right here. And you walk across it to get into the Smokies. There's even an overlook in a visitor center. All 
All right. Still hiking up. Day seven, heading up to the Smokies, the first campsite this is the first view I've come to. Maybe it's just me, but it definitely feels different once again in the Smokies. Very cool. I'm on Shuck Tack, Shuck Stack Fire Tower. Right down there, you can see the dam, which is where I crossed it, four o'clock. I guess that's Fontana Lake going out there. <laughs> and this is a sketchy fire tower. I mean, some of the wood, they've made some new steps. You can see the new steps down there, and the old wood.